What's going on you guys? Strange Religion here from Midnight Nation with a quick video on how to prepare for the upcoming Temporal Rifts. Now the way to acquire Temporal Rift gear is going to be by combining A plus A gear in order to get your red rares. So it's going to be very similar to how we get the current PvP gear, which is that blue rare background. So you really want to start stacking up your A grade items, getting them to level 30, um, as many as you can in preparation for the March 14th drop of the March update, including the Temporal Rifts and the Cloaks and the upcoming World Boss Guillotine. Now, my uh, another great idea that I'm having is to start getting ready for tradable gear only, you guys. Um, that way, just in case we do those A plus A combines that are tradable, we'll actually be able to sell that Rift gear. I do think the Rift gear will be selling day one for maximum amount. So if you're looking to make some blue diamonds off the auction house, you will have to start stacking up your A grade tradable items. So I've been doing this for a couple days now, nothing too crazy, so hopefully by the time the rifts come out in just a few days, um, we will actually be able to hopefully get at least one to three pieces of rift gear that will be sellable. Now on top of getting the uh, A plus A's, you know, going for those A grades to level 30, getting ready to combine them, you could probably also try to work on maybe some S's and some R's if you have the opportunity to do so, getting those up to level 30. That is going to take a lot of varnish and a lot of Adina, but it will save you a lot of stones. I know personally um, I'm running low on stones. I do only have 100 weapon stones and 50 armor stones. So that's not, I mean, if you're doing A plus A combines only, um, to get your four pieces of armor from S all the way to SR is going to take you 200 armor stones. So that's going to be a lot. I do recommend starting to save those now and possibly resetting um, your daily dungeon on Sunday and on your armor stone and weapon stone days. Or conversely, to get those S grades to level 30 or those R grades to level 30 and then just pray into our Lord and Savior R and Jesus that that'll come out as an R or an SR rift rare. Now I'm going to quickly go over why elite gear and boss gear is actually totally applicable to rifts, you guys. I know a lot of players on Reddit and the current discussion show that kind of elite gear is a waste of time. However, it's actually totally not a waste of time, you guys. Elite gear is actually 100% fantastic and will carry over into the rifts. So what we're going to be looking at here, guys, is that there's going to be multiple types of monsters. And they're actually going to be dual type, especially for the starter rifts, guys. We're going to run into these. So your rift gear over here is your magical creature gear. So let me bring out the attribute explanations, guys. And so the bottom one will just be a general explanation. And this new one will be your actual rift attributes explanation. So you can see where the bosses of each rift are considered boss type and magical creatures. So that will be a dual grade effect. So you'll actually be able to use your boss weapons to deal increased damage to those rift bosses. And then on top of that, you'll be able to use your elite weapons to deal increased damage to the elite monsters, which are going to be um, the adds from the rift bosses and then multiple monsters inside of the rifts themselves. So your rift gear um, is going to be your priority, you guys. Um, the Pierce and Aegis attributes that come with rifts you guys pierce will be on the weapons and the aegis will be on your armor are going to be super useful because pierce actually starts off with a hundred percent damage increase versus magical monsters so you'll see where that will actually affect the bosses and the adds and all of the monsters inside the rift and then aegis will decrease the damage taken from magical monsters which will also be used for the entirety of the rifts so overall your rift gear is going to definitely outperform your elite and your boss gear in the long run. However, because it is elite, um, excuse me, because it is rare gear, you can see where a lot of players are going to have trouble stacking that up, man. Getting a full set of SR 30 plus, you know, 13, 15, 20 enchantments is going to be really hard. That's going to be a long process. Even if we start saving Adina and these A grades and hoarding now, the likelihood of obtaining a full set of Rift gear on day one is pretty low. Or even if you do obtain the full set, um, the chances of getting that up to SR30 is quite low um, without actually paying and buying those items off the auction house. And then on top of that, you guys, the attributes that start off at level 1, for example, Pierce, will be 100% bonus damage against magical monsters. But in order to attribute break that with your best chances of success and saving you the most money and resources in the long run, you will have to get another piece of Rift Gear all the way up to SR1 for that 100% attribute break. 
So it is going to be pretty difficult to get the full set of gear and then a tribute break it several times. So I know a couple of us have been working on our elite weapons, so that is already a tribute level 10, and that is a normal weapon, so it's a lot easier to get the attributes up, especially by using S-grade equipment. Even on that 10% chance, hitting the attribute break, um, you can absolutely start to stack that. So my Staff of Life plus 23 will definitely outperform um, the Rift Red Rare weapon um, for you know a while because the chances of me getting that to attribute to plus 23 is is like a very very long-term goal and so i do think at first your elite weapon and then if you've already built it your elite armor is going to um, perform well in those rifts especially against the normal monsters and the ads so that's it for this video you guys hopefully you guys are ready to prepare for the upcoming rift content and the world boss a guillotine